Hello. I am Vahid Sufi, a programmer in the field of software security. I want to introduce our new product to you. Through which you can lock your video and PDF learning files very quickly with very high security and guarantee. Which I will show you now. This software is called Video Guard Encoder. Since I already have an account, I will log in. I will also explain how to buy it. In this section, I select the panel that I want to lock with. See. For example, I have two panels. This one does not have these security facilities, only I have this possibility. This one is complete and has all the security features in locking. I will quickly explain these options to you one by one. Anti-screen which is very important, means that now these files that I lock will not be anti-screen record if I uncheck this checkbox. Anti-screen option. When the end user wants to watch a video or PDF, it prevents them from being able to take a video from the monitor with software like Camtasia and resale your video. Anti-virtual. Is to prevent execution in a virtual machine. For example, I have a virtual Android here, I can install the program and run it, then give this virtual Android to someone else. In other side we have virtual windows too. Or I can play it here and start recording this screen from outside. That software can no longer understand that it is being recorded from outside. So anti-virtual is also for this case. Show serial option. This application is single user. Each user has a serial number that can only be open and use on their own device. It is limited, for example, if it is installed in this Android, it cannot be installed anywhere else. This serial number moves on the screen, so if they record it with a mobile phone or something else, you will know later who did it. The anti-debug mode is to prevent hacking software, there are many software that when the program is running, process it extract its codes or extract information from the RAM. Hackers do these things, which our application also prevents that. Can disable mode is for set a serial number to be disabled on a certain date. It means that he has been using the product until that date, and after that date he cannot use it anymore, or you can suddenly goes and deactivate it from the panel. I will also show you the panel. Well. For locking, it says file mode or folder mode. It means you want to lock a single file or a folder. I will select a folder here. I have a folder, you can see there are a few of files in it. I have three videos and one PDF. I select this folder. And I will give it a title. The title field means a title that will shown above window when the video is playing, it has no effect on the locking process, it is just a text that is shown above during playback. I write the title. And a learning package name. The name of the learning package, for example. This tutorial is about audio editing software. And it has a video quality mode that increases and decreases the bitrate. Well. Normal is the best. I do this and it starts locking automatically. App will make another files near your files. PDF files locked very quickly, and then app will locking this video. After it is finished, I will come and show you the player on the user's side. Well. Now that we have finished locking, we have nothing more to do with this program, we will close it. These files now. See that created files for each file. This is for this. And this is for this. And app made this for this. I will delete these video and PDF files or move them somewhere else. We are going to give these files to the customer. This is now a PDF. The extension is PDFL. And video files have DAD extension. To open them for the Windows version, 
I install this Windows version setup. You see, the installation is very simple, for the user who wants to use it, open up this, double clicks, next, 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 it's done. The shortcut will appear on the desktop and if you click on this file, it will automatically opens with this program. I want to open the video file at first. Well. It asks for serial number. I enter this serial here. I enter my name. My phone number. My email address. And I do the activation. So easily. And the player have play speed button. Which is now 100x, which means it is on normal mode. And if I press this button, I can also see the video faster. This is the full screen button. The same for Android. Now they either downloads the APK file or you give it to them, installs it, When I run it, I can select the file. I transferred two of these files. And they enter their serial number. I had used the previous serial on Windows, so I can't use it again. Again, I enter my name. Phone number. Email address. and activate it well this is now a PDF file let me show you this PDF version in Windows so it will show the PDF the same program that plays the video also plays the PDF and there is no need to install in another program I will also select that video file this is video playback on Android all those facilities for prevent recording the screen and all this are also available in Android. To record this video, I disabled all the security modes that I can running in virtual machine and I disabled all of them to be able to record. I will also give you an explanation about the panel. To buy the panel on the video-protect.net website, in the purchase section, enter the number of serial numbers you need, which is 100 by default. For the first time, you must buy at least 100 serial. The price is 1 USDT per serial and it gives you a discount for higher numbers. Look, now it says 1 USDT for 100 serials, 78 cents for 500 serials, and half price for 1000 serial numbers 1000 and above has same price you can disable these features that I explained to you it will be cheaper but it is recommended that all security options be active choose a name for your panel enter your email address and password and open your panel I log into my panel well here you can see my different panels Making different panels is for different categories, this panel serials should not open another learning package. In these cases, we open several different panels. Here you can set one device, two devices, three devices to work with this panel serials. Here you can set it to work only on Windows, only on mobile or on both devices. You can enter a date here for a serial that will work until a certain date. You can write the date in the same way. And you can specify a specific serial number to works only on Windows. You can click this button, this serial will be deactivated from the user system on the other side, and it will no longer wait for to reach that date. Name, last name, and email addresses are also saved here so that you can output them later. The other parts of the panel are the download part, which contains the programs. Charts that show which serials and how much of which panel are used. I hope you will use our program and if you have any problem, 
you can send me a message on Telegram and WhatsApp. My phone number also is on footer of website. Goodbye.